Around 93% of Indian firms plan to expand automation budgets by 2023 and some two-thirds or 66% are boosting automation funding by 25% or more, a study says. The survey by Automation Anywhere, which was carried out across eight countries, including India, noted that reliance on automation technologies, including robotics, AI and ML, edge solutions and IoT, etc., has not only risen dramatically in the last one year, but has also become the key to navigate current market challenges and sustain business performance. Hello and welcome to VAR India News Aaj. As per the study, 98% of Indian organizations believe automation is helping them address supply chain issues and 86% of business leaders in India said that automation has helped them better address staffing shortages. Almost 99% surveyed agreed that collaboration between humans and intelligent assistants will play an important part in their future of work strategies. The report further says the consequences of the pandemic and political economic volatility have disrupted business operations and hence it is not surprising that of the 1,000 global organizations surveyed, more than 90% agreed that automation addressed the impact of supply chain and economic uncertainty. The report further revealed that actual bot deployments in India surpasses those in the rest of the world with 67% of companies having already deployed over 300 bots across their enterprise organization compared to just 21% in other global markets. Moreover, the research found that cloud-based automations are becoming vital for future-proofing business transformation strategies, with 93% stating that they have already adopted a cloud-first approach for all new automation initiatives. To complement, another study conducted by Fresta Consulting and commissioned by Aruba, a Hewlett-Packard enterprise company, also said that Indian companies are using edge solutions, IoT applications and networks as well as automation and robots to optimize their manufacturing processes and innovation. In fact, nearly 70% of respondents said they were either piloting or already using cloud-managed networking and security solutions to benefit from improved flexibility, scalability and defense capabilities. Similarly, the study by Zebra Technologies said that 90% of warehouse operators expect to leverage sensor-based technologies such as radio frequency identification, computer vision, fixed industrial scanning and machine vision systems to become more prevalent over the next five years. Automation has become a strategic priority for business leaders across India in the fallout from the pandemic, but it has also become core to digital transformation efforts. Now, let us look into today's headlines in VAR India. Musk drops $44 billion Twitter deal. Elon Musk has finally revealed that he won't be acquiring Twitter. The spam accounts have turned out to be the deal breaker in the proposal. Now, Twitter has said it would take Musk to court. Twitter's chairman Brett Taylor has said that the board will pursue legal action to carry out the merger agreement. Last month, Musk warned Twitter that he might walk away from the deal if it fails to provide the data on spam and fake accounts that he seeks. Samsung to build measures to curb state-level cyber attacks. Samsung is working closely with Google and Microsoft to develop measures to prevent state-level cyber attacks. Samsung offers multiple layers of protection across its Galaxy devices, spanning both hardware as well as applications. All data is encrypted by a user-generated key that no other vendor, including Samsung, can decrypt. It's still not clear if Samsung is working on a dedicated switch or something more extensive and elaborate to secure users' data. Railway Ministry to install IP-based video surveillance system The Ministry of Railways has installed the Internet Protocol-based video surveillance system at the stations across the country, which has been approved by the Ministry under Nirbhaya funds. The first phase of the project will cover major stations of categories A1, A, B, C, numbering 756 and is likely to be completed by January 2023. The remaining stations will be covered in the second phase of VSS implementation. The implemented system shall act as a tool to respond to situations or incidents effectively, aiding faster decision-making. Nokia partners with IISC to set up Network Robotic Center of Excellence Finnish telecom gear maker Nokia has partnered with Indian Institute of Science to set up Nokia Center of Excellence in Networked Robotics at IISC Bengaluru. The COE will promote interdisciplinary research involving robotics and advanced communication technologies in 5G and AI. 
The center will facilitate engagement and cooperation between academia, startups and industry ecosystem partners to research and develop these use cases. Nokia will fund the COE for three consecutive years to sustain the first phase of the partnership with IISC. Meta announces new VR login system. Meta is modifying users' login process in virtual reality handsets. The company will roll out its new Meta account starting in August with an aim to remove the Facebook login requirement. With the new login structure, Meta accounts will control device-level access and manage app purchases, while Meta Horizon profiles will represent the user's social presence in virtual reality with associated usernames and avatars. People will also have the option to connect their profiles in a unified Meta account center, which will integrate existing social connections from Facebook, Instagram or Messenger into their virtual reality experiences. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to Var India News Magazine. You can download the Var India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for the latest news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.